YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I turned this into this. And if you guys are looking to go step up your edits, link below the description of my editing packs and presets. I highly recommend them to you guys. But without further ado, let's hop right into the video. All right, guys, we're in Premiere Pro here. We have this clip from the new Lucky video done by Cole Bennett. What we're going to do is actually we're going to export the clip by hitting Control M and just exporting it to wherever you want on your computer. Once the clip is exported, you want to open up Photoshop. You want to open a new file and you want to find the clip. I have the clip right here. So you want to open it up in Photoshop as a video. That's right. If you didn't know, you can actually open up videos in Photoshop. All right. Now, once you have it open, you'll have this little timeline here that's just like Premiere Pro or any other editing software so the way this is going to work is it goes frame by frame as you can see this is compiled of 12 frames here all right so to start this off i have a bunch of brushes on my computer these brushes will come with your photoshop as well but if you're looking to get some more custom brushes just look them up on youtube or look them up on google you can find a bunch of them to get different looks so let's check out this kyle's paint box wet brush and it'll paste that along there it looks pretty cool so the way this works is whatever color is that you start off with let's say i go to the window and i drag it along here it's going to follow whatever it is so to start this off i'm going to start off with this brush here and i'm going to paint around lucky all right, so we're going to start off by painting half the frame and then we're going to paint the full thing on this side and then the full thing around with his head and then up here and we're just going to go one by one painting the full thing so it looks like it's being drawn in on the video clip. All right, I think that looks pretty good there. All right, now once you guys have that painted around, you can go to a different brush. I'm gonna add the eyes, so I'm just gonna make this smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and just start by adding little X's over his eyes as the frame goes on and just making them bolder as it goes across. Don't be afraid to make it kind of rough. I think it looks really cool when it's rougher. Gives it a style. You can add a little outline tracing it going frame by frame. And then once you guys are done painting up your subject, remember, make this unique to your own. Don't just copy what I do. If you come up with cooler concepts or different concepts, make sure you guys enter them to my Discord. It'll be linked in the description. I want to see them. All right. And then once you have yours done and painted up, you want to go up to File, Export, and at the very bottom, Render Video. You're going to click your video path where you want it to be rendered to, and then you're going to name it. I'm going to call this Lucky Video Render, and then you're just going to hit Render. And then once it's rendered, you can go back into your Premiere, and you can drag and drop it back on top of your video, and it'll look something like this just to add a nice little paint effect. And if you guys want to style it up even more, you guys can go on Google and you can search texture displacement map and then find one that you guys like. I already have one downloaded on my computer, which I'm going to pull up. All right, now once this is on here, I'm going to go over and set it on overlay. And as you can see, it just adds that texture to before and after. And you can play with the opacity as well. I like it around there. And if you want to play with it even more, you can go two frames, cut, two frames, cut, and just cut it every two frames. All right, and then for every frame, it cuts you guys can zoom it in or move it around or change it moving it around just like so and it just adds a little bit more sauce slash texture to it you guys can find a bunch of texture texture maps on the internet if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to check out our last tutorial alongside a playlist of a bunch of other tutorials that we have on our channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one